Day of the Dead. Classic, classic zombie movie. But this isn't that. This is Bloodlines. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Really hope I don't have anything in my teeth now. Hey guys, doing another movie suggestion here from the list that I asked you guys about. I should have been a little bit more specific, but obviously you guys wouldn't know. A lot of the suggestions so far, I can't watch because they're not available on Canadian Netflix, Crave, uh, Amazon Video. Hopefully, maybe I can find alternative motives. If you're wondering why I haven't done some, it's because I can't find them. And one of the suggestions was George A. Romero's Day of the Dead. Fantastic zombie movie. Has one of the greatest rips in zombie movie history most disgusting scene but it's just so good this movie is just disgustingly bad this is a remake but the only thing it really keeps in common with it is a female main character it's at a military base and they are using a zombie as a test subject everything else is different and by different it's shit and that's not just the story the story is garbage but the acting is horrible the lighting is terrible. The sound is bizarrely terrible. There's conversations between two different characters and one will sound normal, will sound correct, like it's a properly mixed, it's been worked. And then the other one sounds like it was filmed in a completely different environment, completely different setting, not the same place at all. It's either horrible ADR or horrible mixing, but the audio is just jarringly bad in this movie. The gore effects are laughable. There's maybe one really good effect of like this, the dilapidated zombie face, but the rest of it is just blood squibs going <laughs> The first kill you see is a guy pulled down the stairs down into a subway and all of a sudden this massive mist of blood just blasts up through the stairways. You don't see the guy being eaten, you just see the blood just blur up. Because you know, that's how blood exits human bodies when we bite each other. The characters in this are just the dumbest fucking people. This is what would happen if the coronavirus turned into a zombie virus and the only people who lived are those from Florida and the other dum-dums. Just so much stupidity is in this movie that it's baffling. And the concept, the whole idea of what they're trying to do is they're trying to make a vaccine, a cure for the bites. One fucking woman does this. And it's just so funny considering how many scientists, how many officials, how much money is being put into trying to make a vaccine for COVID-19 right now. And one woman can make a vaccine. <laughs> In like days, dude. It takes a place over a few days. The movie's just got no rhythm. It's very boring. And when it's not boring, it's laughably bad. You could watch this as like a drinking movie. This would have actually been a really good drunk review because this is a bad movie. This is a terrible, terrible movie, but it's funny to laugh at because of how bad it is. There's a lot of really shitty zombie movies out there. Is this one of the, the worst ones? No, there are some that are even worse than this, but this is pretty high up there. It's, it's premium garbage. This movie didn't even get the one best part right of Day of the Dead, the original, is when the asshole military commander gets ripped in half. There's nothing that's on that same level. I know this movie was made in Bulgaria, so it probably had no money, but still, it's just, just a terrible, terrible fucking movie. Do not watch it. Zero out of seven. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.